Howard Bailey McAfee in 1938 compiled the story of the original 17, a group of 14 boys and three girls who followed Reverend Dr. John A. McAfee from the Hufford home of Highland College, an unusual educational venture that included the trade of tuition money for labor, to Parkville, Missouri, where an institution of similar practice was founded between Dr. McAfee, Reverend Elisha Sherwood, and George Shepard Park. The institution, known as Park College, made its first home in Old Number 1, a dilapidated hotel just off the train tracks in downtown Parkville. Ruined by years of neglect, mistreatment by soldiers during the Civil War, and exploitation by local farmers. In celebration of Women's History Month, the Francis Fishburne Archives and Special Collections presents the following stories of our earliest graduates. Helen Elizabeth Nellie Huff was born to Samuel Yardley and Weltha Allen Huff, farmers, on March 24, 1885, in Wusung, Illinois, the third of four children. After Samuel Huff's death in August of 1862, the family moved to Donfin County, Kansas, where Weltha Allen Huff met and married Leander Riggs, a widower and farmer, in 1870. The couple separated in the early 1880s, and Weltha provided for her children by working as a housekeeper. Helen Huff, by this time, had already moved from Highland College to Parkville near the end of 1875, after the original 17. Huff graduated in Park College's first class in 1879 and joined her mother in Donovan County, where she, too, worked as a housekeeper. On February 23, 1882, Huff married Englishman Alfred John Piper, a widower in Highland, Kansas. The couple had six children, Ethlyn Weltha, Mary Jane, Frederick, James Samuel, Helen Elizabeth Jr., and Caroline. The family lived in Blue Rapids in Irving, Kansas between 1900s and 1920, while Alfred Piper worked as a millwright and liveryman and was elected to several public office and school board positions. Upon Alfred Piper's death in 1923, Helen lived alone in the family home. In the late 1930s, she lived with her daughter and son-in-law, Mary Jane and Philip Blauyer in Leonardsville, Kansas. Helen Huff Piper suffered from a stroke and died on April 3, 1940 in her daughter's home. She is buried at Greenwood Cemetery, Blue Rapids, Kansas.